Woo, how's everybody doing? I have not seen what's coming. It is Wednesday Bible study, but I am in a big hurry. And I apologize for that. Then said he, knowest thou wherefore I came unto thee? And now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia. We read this yesterday, didn't we? Yep, good. That means we kind of know where it's all coming from. And when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of Grecia shall come. Or maybe it was the John one where we went and read forward. Yes, I'm sorry, it was John. But I've read Daniel so many times. It's just, you know, we go back and forth between Daniel and Revelation, so... Then said he, knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee, and now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia. So it's it's letting you know what was going on, that it's a fight with what was going on uh, when he was speaking earlier um, with the spirit, the spirit prince and so forth. So it was in a Bible study yesterday and the day before. And when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of Grecia shall come. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth, and there is none that holdeth with me in these things, but Michael, your prince. Also, in the first year of Darius the Mede, even I stood to confirm and to strengthen him. And now I will show thee the truth. Behold, there shall stand up yet three kings in Persia, and the fourth shall be far richer then they all, and by his strength, through his riches, he shall stir up all against the realm of Grecia. And a mighty king shall stand up that shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. And when he shall stand up, his kingdom shall be broken and shall be divided toward the four winds of heaven and not to his posterity not according to his dominion which he ruled for his kingdom shall be plucked up even for others beside those and the king of the south which is the antichrist shall be strong and one of his princes he shall be strong above him and have dominion his dominion shall be a great dominion all right continuing on in and John, where Jesus is washing their feet. And if I then, your Lord and master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. I speak not of you all, I know whom I have chosen. Ooh I told y'all John is the quintessential prediction, excuse me, election and predestination gospel. I know, I know whom I have chosen, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me have lifted up his heel against me. Now I tell you before it come, that when it has come to pass, you may believe that I am he. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I send receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, excuse me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. When Jesus had said thus, had thus said, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Then the disciples looked at one another, doubting whom he spake doubting of whom he spake. Now, there was a leaning on Jesus' bosom on one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. That would be John. Simon Peter, therefore, beckoned to him that he should ask who it should be of whom that he spoke about. I'm not saying these things to you all. I know the ones I have chosen. But this fulfills the scripture that says, the one who eats my food has turned against me. So he's talking about Judas throughout the whole time there. 
I'll tell you this beforehand so that when it happens, you will believe that I am the Messiah. So I just wanted to get some clarification on that. All right, love y'all very much. Sorry it was so fast.